I'd already been up Ealing Broadway to see Alexis Corners Blues Incorporated. Uh, that's when he had a killer lineup with Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker, Cyril Davis on our Spike Eatley on bass, Graham Bond on organ and alto, with of course John Baldry on vocals. I think most London art school students found themselves carted up there sometime or other, Viv Andrews and Dick Taylor for sure. Dick was at Sick Up and formed the pretty things with Phil after he got chucked out of the stones. Phil was pretty electric and cleared most halls in about 15 minutes. lots to choose from. Up the windmill or the elephant, get blocked and bust over to Richmond. Brian had cancer and was going to drop any day. Mick never washed. I can see her closing her eyes and telling them lies. Exactly oh no, how could this new lot replace the stones? Yardbirds? Any wallop, they blasted out the old solo.
didn't mean to light up Richmond. It affected one band who dropped the beat bit and became the Merses. Never saw them play, but they hung about a lot. Pretties, Yardbirds, and if you ventured down a marquee on a Sunday night, the Floyd with dear old Sid, or the animals down Wimmel Street at the Scene Club, Eel Pie Island, Rick a Tick Club for the creation, or Reggie's Mob the Action. But the biggest buzz was back at the marquee. They dressed weeks out of date, but they did all the right stuff, Martha and Vandellas and all that. Lot of action on a night. They were our band, The Who.
Ouais. 